Actress Laura Dern may live in the upscale neighborhood of Mandeville Canyon in Brentwood, Los Angeles, but her house is anything but basic. When she was selling her former family home, a 1920s Spanish style abode, she wanted to move into a tree house. Well, when that wasn't exactly possible, Laura settled for a minimalist 1953 post and beam home which came close enough. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. The return of our Jurassic World Dominion has just hit theaters and for the first time in the franchise's history, we're going to see the entire Entire primary cast members from both generations of the series team up. Among this cast is, of course, actress Laura Dern. After rising to prominence in a series of films directed by David Lynch like Blue Velvet and Wild at Heart, Laura would leave a mark on all audiences around the world when she appeared as Dr. Ellie Sattler in the original Jurassic Park. Since then, Laura's star has only continued to rise and she's taken part in a ton of critically acclaimed projects before finally winning the Best Support actress Oscar for Marriage Story in 2019. About two years prior, Laura went through an equally big life change when she decided to separate from her ex, moving herself and her two children into the closest thing that she could find to her dream home, a treehouse. But of course, since tree houses are kind of hard to come by in Los Angeles, Laura had to make two with the next best thing, a home tucked away on a piece of land that's extra jungle-like. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment today, checking out where Laura Dern calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. Back in the mid 2010s, Laura Dern decided it was time to ditch her former home as well as her former husband and move into a new place with her two young kids. Her mission? To find the closest equivalent to a livable treehouse. She eventually found what she was looking for in a 1953 post and beam home built by architect Calvin C. Straub on a lot in Brentwood's Mandeville Canyon. Immediately after discovering the home, Laura called up her close personal friend and architect Michael Kovacs, whom she was once introduced to by Steven Spielberg. Michael gave her his opinion. The home, it was in solid condition, but kind of boring and dark. He suggested that if Laura was serious about buying it, then he would need to find ways to liven it up. Laura agreed, and so Michael got to work. He replaced walls with glass, added a skylight and a pool, brightened the overall interior palette while also expanding the kitchen. And he also removed awkward, tiny spaces like a dark backyard hedge that was blocking all sunlight from coming down the hill and into the home. With how solid the original frame was, the updates weren't that hard to accomplish. After about a year's worth of renovation work, the home was finally ready and Michael had transformed Laura's new digs into a three bedroom, 2,464 square foot home with the inside and outside flowing together nicely. A few months later, Laura would bring in an interior designer to pull all things together and add some final touches. More than anything, this designer acted as a curator to find a way of blending a 50-50 mixture of Laura's unbelievable memorabilia and art collection with some new finds. But before we get into those details, let's check out her spaces first. Laura likes to call her living room one of my favorite spaces in the world. Now to be fair, she also says that her favorite room in the house changes almost as often as the seasons. But there's still no denying that this living room is special. Inspired by the Hemingway Bar in the Ritz Paris where Laura spent a lot of time with her children while waiting on her ex-husband Ben Harper, a musician who was recording and touring in France, Dern now gets to relive those memories every day from the comfort of her own living room. She even grabbed an ashtray from the bar itself and placed it in here as a reminder. When reflecting on her inspiration, she told Architectural Digest, it felt like this cave of beautiful colors and art and different textures and fabrics, club chairs and backgammon sets and found pottery. My living room is very influenced by that feeling. Made up of further items like a 1970s Mario Bellini leather sofa, a Mark Phillips rug and Hollywood at home pillows, not to mention ceramics and musical instruments, this room is a showstopper. Moving on to the family room, there's a painting hanging on the walls in here that was painted by none other than the legendary 
filmmaker Jonathan Demme. And the majorities of the photos, well, they were taken by photographers who were recommended to Laura by director Robert Altman. Over in the dining room, there's a giant Clara Walnut slab table accented by a painting of emerald-hued trees hanging on the wall behind it. This piece was painted by Alexandra Hedison, the wife of actress Jodie Foster. As for the kitchen, well, when she needed help with this space, Laura turned to her good friend David Lynch. Not only is David a mid-century architecture expert, but he's also something of a refined palate. As a housewarming present, Lynch also gifted Laura with the finest cappuccino machine available for her bright and airy kitchen. Laura explained the gift to AD by telling them, it's an incredibly generous and luxurious present, but it is also here for absolutely selfish motivation because he said, if I'm going to visit you and you're going to live all the way over there by the beach, then I've got to be able to have a cappuccino. Laura would also hang a ton of David's art around her home as well, but a couple of her most unique pieces hang elsewhere, like this bizarre dog painting that decorates one of her bathrooms, and her most prized piece, Umbrella Girl by Banksy, which hangs just off center above her bed in the primary suite. In fact, for an art aficionado like herself, Laura's only regret about this home is that there isn't exactly a ton of hanging space. Most of the time she has to make do by simply leaning things like surfboards and skateboards against outdoor surfaces. All in all, considering how singular the vision for her new home was, Laura is happy with how it came off, saying, I love dollhouses growing up and it does feel like a dollhouse where you're always looking into something magical like a treasure box. Speaking of treasure, how about we check out some of the movie memorabilia she has? For Laura, the objects in her house are important because they each tell a story. And if any film buffs were ever to step a foot in this place, well, they better have something on standby to mop up all that drool. Not only is there a miniature Velociraptor figurine, which was a gift from Steven Spielberg upon finishing the original Jurassic Park guarding her front door, but there's also a trio of Golden Globe statues hiding behind a stack of books in her hall. Meanwhile, over in the family room, you can find the period shoes Laura once wore to literal pieces while shooting the movie Rambling Rose, which earned both Laura and her mother Diane an Academy Award nominations in 1992. She also honors her father Bruce Stern by hanging the hat that he wore in his own Oscar winning role for Nebraska in her daughter's room. And in her son's room is the exact Ralph Lauren design suit that was once worn by Bruce in the 1974 adaptation of The Great Gatsby, a gift from Pearl Jam frontman Eddie Vedder. A self-proclaimed collector of all things from instruments to curbside pottery, teacups, and salt and pepper shakers, perhaps the most unusual of Laura's keepsakes is her love for vintage TV show lunchboxes, of which she has many. While that about wraps up this house tour, I think Laura Dern is probably pretty content with what she has. A uniquely nature-inspired home that's also a film and TV fan's dream come true. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Laura's homes down below. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!